Hello gladiators and welcome to the Colosseum! Last episode, we got to this very special city and we also caught our cute little Pokemon Pyromanic who is a Magby. So we are going to sacrifice our cute little Raven in order to get him. So what we need to do is put him into the Hell area. Because we sacrificed him, we can't reuse him. The only reason he's in the purgatory is because he died and we have one more chance to revive him. So now that's our new team. We got Pyromanic, we got Blackleaf, who else do we got? We got Duck, we got Bones, and we got Moo Moo Milk, alright? Sound like a party, huh? What we're gonna do is we're gonna switch Pyromanic out and then we're gonna go train. We're gonna go battle a crap ton of trainers because Duck is gonna do terrible against this gym leader here. So we already count our caught our Pokemon in Route 117, so we're gonna do a double battle, because this is the game that double battles were, um, initiated in. At least I believe so, because they weren't in, um, I don't believe they were in red or blue, and this, this was the next game up, wasn't it? Yeah, no, because we had, no, we had, uh, really? We gotta have a water Pokemon on our first battle with each other? That's great. Anyway. Um, like I was saying, in Pokemon Fire, or in Pokemon Gold and Silver, they didn't have, they didn't have, um, what am I trying to say? They didn't have double battles, did they? I don't remember having any double battles. No, I thought that was introduced in this game at least. Anyway, so we're going to take down Wingle and, um, Nummel with an amazing team. Moo Moo Milk and Bones, you guys are great together. Thank you very much. So guys, I was I let you know that in last episode I got a job um, at Dish for a customer service agent. So what I do is I sit down all day and I take phone calls. Um so I just I thought I would share what I think about this job because I don't know what Hey, you're supposed to bat on me, dude. The air is tasty here. Oh yeah, pretty darn good air, that's right. Anyway, like I was saying, so, you know, I get these phone calls. And if you're this kind of customer, I'm not trying to offend you, but I get these phone calls all day long. And these people, they act like TV is their life, because Dish is a TV service. But they act like TV is their life. And they also act like, oh, if I can um, sign up for Dish, I'm going to get TV for free. I don't have to pay for it. And it's like... You have to pay for your car, you have to pay for filling up your car, you have to pay for a house, you have to pay for insurance, you have to pay for everything in life. You don't think you have to pay for the TV service you get too? No, you have to pay for that too. And you know how much I wish I could just tell the customers that? They call me, they're like, why is my bill so high? I signed up and it was only 45 bucks. Well ma'am, what we do is we give you $35 off your bill for a whole year. So we're giving you money off your bill for a whole year. So you s to sign up for with us to s for saying thank you for signing up. And then their bill drops off that year and they're like, oh my god, my bill's an $86. It's like, yeah, because now you're paying for what you're supposed to be paying. Isn't that nice? No, I, 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 I. It is just like that all day. When I signed up for this job, I was not expecting this. I was expecting to sit on my butt all day long, take calls with happy people, and then I get this. And I just want to scream. There is this, this no, no pyromaniac. Do not, do not die on me, boy. Mm, that was so close, that was not acceptable. Oh my goodness. As for morale, you are going to die today. Oh, you, that's right. I'm gonna intimidate you. You can get me wet all you want, fool, but I'm gonna horn your... That's really dirty, isn't it? That's just... <laughs> anyway, two people who don't get that, that's okay, because you're just... You're still too young. Um, anyway... There was this guy that called in earlier, okay? So you, you know how you sign up for, like, Facebook. You enter an email, you enter a password. And that's the email and password you use when you um, get into your account. So, the, ooh, an Ivysaur, cool. So he signs up. Oh, that'd be perfect for Pyromanic, but he's dead. Oh, I can leave him out. Anyway, so he calls in, and he's like, I can't get to my account at, uh, online. 
on his my dish account because that's what um, we have them sign up at so they can get to their account anyway so he was like you you know, I was trying my password because I use the same password every time. And I was like, okay, sir, well, what we need to do is we need to go to the, you know, forget um, password part. And he's like, I already did that. And now it says that I can't authorize this because my attempts have been too many times. I was like, okay, sir, that means um, you're going to have to wait about 24 hours and then you'll have to restart. This. And he just started yelling. He was like freaking out. Like, I didn't even want to mimic him because he was just yelling at me on the phone like, this is unacceptable. I'm trying to make my bill payment. I was like, well, you can't because we can take those payments over the computer over the phone. So I offered him that. And he it just yells at me. And he's like, no, I want to make my payment on the computer. I've been doing that fine before. Blah, blah, blah. And so, you know, I just had to nod my head keep a smile on my my face and oh my gosh that is so hard sometimes when you're being yelled at by somebody it is it's hard especially when they can't see you so they are like they got balls they got balls when they can't see you and, and it's not it's not cool it really isn't i mean these people treat us like we're nothing i mean i get customers and who are super cool but those people aren't fun to talk about because they're cool <laughs> I want to talk about these people who are sitting here yelling at me over the silliest things because they can't have TV. It's like, yeah, well, I don't even know. I don't even know why I signed up for this job. I mean, I can't leave now. Oh, I, need that. I can't leave now. I mean, I get 11 bucks an hour to sit on my ass, uh, butt for 10 hours a day and take calls. I mean, I can't really complain about that. But it's more stressful than you think it would be. And when I signed up for that, I did not think it was going to be that darn stressful. And you guys are going to hear me a lot now during these episodes talk about these crazy customers. If you don't like that, fine. Click away. But I'm going to do it anyway because it's stress relieving. I get to play Pokemon. I get to, I get to make a video, which is so fun to me. And did, I, did somebody die? Crap. Oh. Moo Moo Milk, you can't come out. Oh no, Bones is just asleep. Okay. Anyway, so that was my day today. I hope your guys' day is going a, a little bit better. Um, that's great. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, speed this battle up. Die, Ghastly, you son of a biscuit! Just eat my poison stings! Eat them! Eat them! No! Stop! Oh, we're almost there. Almost. Why can't I poison you? Yes. What is he sending out? Wabafut. Well, that wasn't effective. Horn attack was. Ah! Blackleaf! What was that? What was that? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, Blackleaf. What are you doing? Sorry, Blackleaf. I, I didn't even see what happened. Oh, did he use counter? He probably used counter, that little... Mm. Blackleaf, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to kill you again. <sighs> it's okay. I will bring you back. Don't worry. Well, once I beat the gym, I'll bring you back, okay? <laughs> That's so sad. You were supposed to help me beat it, Blackleaf. What are you doing dying over here? <laughs> No, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Yeah, cuss Mr. Mr. Freaking Face. What are you doing killing me like that? You suck. <laughs> All right, here we are in Vanderf Town. I'm going to find the Pokemon Center real quick. Oh, no, not the Pokemart. Man, I, I forgot all about Counter Attack. Son of a dick. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Blackleaf, let's go put you back in the box because apparently you really like it in there. Maybe next time I just won't take you out, okay? No, I really do need you though. You're freaking awesome. You got double kick and everything. All right, Blackleaf, you're coming back. Don't expect to stay in here too long. Unless I find um, a Pikachu, but then maybe. Can I move items? Move Pokemon. I can't move items on the Pokemon. Since when could you not move items on a Pokemon in a PC box? Couldn't you do that in like the first games? That's so not cool. Now I have to put him in my party. I gotta take that item off of him. Take it. Take it. Ugh. Take it good. 
and I gotta put him back in the box. That's like double sadness right there. I don't, I don't need this crap. <laughs> okay, okay Blackleaf, get your butt back in there. Not purgatory. Maybe I should go to the usable box. Okay. All right. So now that we have been very eventful, we lost Blackleaf, and I raged about my job. We're gonna go find this house right here. Is this the house where we need to be? Yeah, because this has Wally, right? Oh, Tom! Wally's the next door. But boy, there's something I have to tell you. This natural environment is doing wonders for Wally's health. Maybe it's not just the environment. It could be Pokemon that are giving the boy hope. It could be, really. I mean, I'd have hope if I had Pokemon. I lost you, Tom. But I'm not feeling down anymore. Because I have a new purpose in life. Together with my routes, I'm going to challenge Pokemon gyms and become a great trainer. Please watch me, Tom. I'm going to be stronger than you. When I do, I'm going to challenge you to another battle. Good luck, bud, because I'm going to make it to the Elite Four, so... Eat it. My daughter's boyfriend is a very driven and passionate sort of person. He's been digging a tunnel non-stop just so he can see my daughter. My daughter's a little concerned, so she goes out to the tunnel a lot. Aww, it's like a love story! You know, I don't think I ever explained to you how me and... To you guys how me and Jacob met. Um, Jacob is my fiance, if you guys don't know that. Um, but we actually dated online. Oh, your Pokemon. It's not very used to yet. Hey, who's who's up front? You're gonna get kicked, Pyromanic. You're gonna get kicked. Moo Moo Milk was my very first one, so let's see what he has to say. To want to be babied a little? Moo Moo Milk, you want to be babied? You're such a baby. Anyway, so me and my fiance, we actually met a line on StarCraft. I'm not gonna tell you the whole story, but we met, we were on there for three, or talked over the internet and phone for three years, and then I finally moved down here after he came down for my prom. And he proposed on my birthday of last year, so we've officially been engaged for almost a year, which is pretty exciting, because today is November or something. Something or other. Let's see what she has to say. My papa told me. He says this tunnel's full of timid Pokemon. They get all scared of loud noise and make a big uproar, so they had to stop the big tunnel project. But there's one man. He's trying to dig the tunnel by himself. Isn't that sweet, little girl? This big man is trying to dig this tunnel so he can um, see his lovely girlfriend. Isn't that sweet? Oh my god, a dark Otivore! Oh my god! Can I have you? No, because I already caught a Pokemon in here. Tom found one Max Ether. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see if we can know Rock Smash. If we don't know Rock Smash, does this guy give it to us? Where the heck did- Oh my god! Run away! Okay. This tunnel has everything. Oh, he just battles me. You get- A Mew. Seriously. He turned into me! Smog. That's right. Ember. You're gonna kill me. No, stop! It hurts too much. Duck, get out here, use water gun. You don't have water gun, duck? What kind of Pokemon are you? Jeez. Take it, Mew. Take it like the man you are. Mm. Oh, duck leveled up. That's good news. I don't know when he turns into a gold duck, though. A Swablu! Hello, Miss Swablu. Oh crap, tastic. One more! No! I'm faster. Ha ha! A sand shrew. Really, my Pokemon just can't stay alive, can they? What do I do wrong? Please, somebody tell me what I do wrong. Okay, we gotta run back to the Pokemon Center again because Mr. Pyro wants to be silly. Okay, we're good now though. So I, I can't believe I don't know Rock Smash. What is... I thought... Where do you get Rock Smash? Did I miss something? Maybe back here. Maybe you don't get it, even get it yet. I dropped my glasses. Can you help me find them? Crap! I want them. I need the item finder. Aren't they up here, though? Oh, no, that's an HP up. Do I have the item finder? That'd be in key. Oh, I do! There's no response! Maybe here? Maybe I'll select it. Register. 
Nope. Where is it? It pointed me in this direction. I never got the item finder. Look, it doesn't tell you where to go. Oops. Ah! I found them. I was standing right next to them. I'm an idiot. I can't wait to make a secret base because it's going to be freaking awesome. All right, so we don't have rock smash, so we can't reunite their love. So why don't we run back here and see what there is to do in this town. Ooh, see these flowers? These were the first edition flowers to um, Pokemon X and Y. Why do I not have any HMs? Holy crap. I have cut. Maybe nobody knows it. Oh yeah, because Blackleaf knew it. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, these were the first edition of flowers in the Pokemon games. And now we have those beautiful flowers in Pokemon X and Y. Isn't that awesome? Don't you love how that works? I love it. You do. Should we make should we make black leaf babies? Okay, this is the game corner. Let's see what's in here. I don't have a coin case. Coins are needed to play in the game corner. Thank you. I wasn't aware of that. Yes, I want a doll. We got a mudkip. That means we chose mudkip in the beginning. This is gonna be a great series. Oh my gosh! One of these guys gave you one. Hey, kid, if you want to play your unicorn, I think the young lady next door had one. Oh, cool. Well, let's go next door. I like the uh, the game corner in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green because I don't know. They just it it's fun because then you can buy Pokemon. I don't think you can buy Pokemon here. Me? You may call me Rydell. I'm the owner of the cycle shop. Your running shoes, they're awfully filthy. Did you come from far away? Hmm. You're saying that you came all this way from Little Root? My goodness, that's ridiculously far. If you had one of the bikes, if you had one of my bikes, you could go anywhere easily while feeling the gentle caress of the wind. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a bike. Oh, one, wait a second. I forgot to tell you that there are two kinds of bikes. There are the mock bike and the acro bike. Mock bike is for cyclists who want to feel the wind with their bodies. And the acro bike is for those who prefer technical rides. I'm a real sweetheart, so you can have whichever one you like. Which one will you choose? I hate the mock bike, but there's the only way to get up those stupid hills is with the mock bike. So, oh well. We'll get the mock bike. We have trainers over here. I don't want to deal with their faces, though. So, you know what we're going to do? We, we're going to end the episode right here in front of the gym. Because next episode, we're going to go kick some booty tang. Some booty tang. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And I hope to see your faces next episode. <laughs>